Oh my gosh. I just flipped the viewfinder over and I expected myself to look somewhat good with this hat on. Not today, Satan. So hello you guys, my name is Caleb, and today we're gonna be talking about the books that I used to love and that I don't love anymore. A while back, I was looking at my bookshelf and I was just thinking back, reminiscing on my favorite books from years past. I'm looking at books that I read like three, four, five years ago, and I'm like, I used to be in love with that book, and now I don't even like it anymore. So today we're gonna be going over all the books that I once was a huge fan of, and now I I'm just kind of eh about it and don't feel the same way. Let's go! The first book that I have I read back when I was in like seventh grade, so like three and a half years ago, and that is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I read this book in like dystopian prime. All these dystopian books are coming out, everyone's talking about all these dystopian books, and so I'm reading this book and I'm in love and I'm flying through it and I thought it was so good and awesome and I love the world and the characters, but I look at it now and I'm like, I don't even remember a lot of the stuff that happened in this book. These books were so good and I read them in a really good time, but now when I look back, I'm like, do I like it? And I feel like if I reread this book or any of the books on this list, I don't think I would like them as much as I did my first read. So the next book that I have is another dystopian, and I'm now looking, I'm realizing a lot of the books on this list are dystopians. I have the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. I don't even have the books. I only have this one because they had it at a half price books. I think I read this series in like 6th or 7th grade, something like that. I read the first book super super fast and then I read the second book really fast and then I got to this book and I was like this series is so good. I know that the series isn't huge anymore so I think I'm gonna be allowed to spoil you on what happened in this book. The end of this book, we're about to go to the battle where everything's coming to an end and then the book ends. And then Lauren Oliver is like, I want the reader to imagine what could happen. The whole reason I read this series is to see what would happen and now I don't even get to see that. It's fine. Whatever. I like the first couple of books and then this book really destroyed everything. Up next we have the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I read the first three books in this series and I somehow managed to still think that I liked it. I loved the whole concept of this book when I was first reading it and then I read the second book and I didn't like it as much as the first book. And then I read the third book and I didn't like it as much as either of the other books. I know if I picked up this series I wouldn't be a big fan. I'm not a big fan of alien love. So, you've been cancelled. The next book that I have here, I think people might get a little bit mad at me. The Selection by Kiera Cass. I read this book in 2014, right before City of Heavenly Fire came out. Was a huge fan. I didn't like the characters very much, but I liked what was happening, so I was convinced that this was a five-star book. Then Kiera Cass is like, hey, there's gonna be two more books, and it's gonna be about America's daughter, and it's gonna be so fun and awesome. And at that time, I'm like, I love the other books in this series. Let's go. And then I read The Air, and I was still convinced that I liked this series. It was super fast and fun and good and I liked it. And then The Crown comes out. You might know my feelings on The Crown. Boy, that book was bad. The Crown comes out and I read it and I was like, this book is trash. And then I looked back at the other books and I was like, does this book have any diversity at all? Nope. The book is literally mayonnaise. Everybody's white. Everybody's straight. Nothing's good. These next two books, I think people are going to get pretty mad because these are pretty popular in the world. They're also dystopian. Legend by Marie Lu. I was the biggest fan of Legend ever. When did I read these? Like 2013? Marathon the series. I read them all in like a course of a week. I was up all night reading. They were so enjoyable and fast moving and awesome. And now I look at it and I'm like, do I like you? Don't remember like anything that happens because I read them so long ago and so quickly. I don't even know my thoughts. And I haven't picked up Marie Lu's Young Elite series. I don't even remember anything about this book. The next book that I have. I feel like people are gonna get pretty mad because this is still a very respected book. Divergent by Veronica Roth. Guys, I don't think you understand. This was my favorite book of all time when I first read it. This series was my favorite series ever ever. Then Allegiant comes out and I think we all know how that turned out. Wasn't very good, but at that time I thought it was amazing because I was like, Divergent is amazing. Five stars, obviously, even though I didn't even like the book that much. And the movie comes out. Wasn't a big fan of the movie, but I was like, whatever. Enjoyable, but you know, it wasn't as good as it could have been, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Then another year comes around and the Insurgent movie happens and I think we all know how that turned out. Not good. Insurgent was not a good movie and then I looked at the books and I was like, okay, well, the books are 
still good. I haven't reread them in a while, but the books are really good. The movies aren't good. I, that's just something to expect. And then Allegiant the movie. It was so bad. It was not good at all. And so then I'm like, okay, the movies are bad. The books are separate. The books are good. Then the Ascendant movie, which is Allegiant Part 2, gets canceled. There is hope for Veronica Roth. I see the light. Carve the mark. I am so excited for this. This is one of my most anticipated books of the year. Carve the mark is the thing. I am ready for an awesome space adventure. All the booktubers are receiving arcs and they're reviewing it pretty good. And then it happens. Carve the mark is extremely problematic. I am honestly so disappointed. And a lot of people aren't aware of this. I brought this up on multiple social medias and people are like, what, are you, what book are you talking about? What you talking about? I haven't read this book so I can't get like exact details and stuff. I'm just pulling this from people that received arcs and talked about it online. Apparently the villains in this book, like the enemy race, are all described as dark-skinned people and they're extremely violent and it brings up a lot of very harmful descriptions to people of color. So my first thought was, okay, I'm a huge fan of Veronica Roth. I loved her other series. I'm super interested in this book. I've heard great things about it. Then I had to make a choice. I can either pick up the book, potentially enjoy it, and miss the harmful themes, or I can be responsible and understand that there are very harmful things in that book that are going to be offensive to people and bring up bad stereotypes about people that I care for. So, I will not be reading Carve the Mark. So these were all the books that I've read in years past that I am no longer a huge fan of. Let me know the books that you used to love, but not really anymore in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!